Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Slack and Armchair Supporter video. I'm happy to have you here, as always. My name is Ashkals93, and I am previewing the big one. It's the biggest game of the season for us. It's the one that I always look forward to between Everton, City, and United. They're the ones I look forward to, but this one, it always, I don't know, so many bad memories from the past, I suppose. This one always just sticks out for me more. It's Liverpool versus Manchester United. It's the first time these teams meet this season. Liverpool at home, Anfield, big advantage. United currently in a bit of a slump of their own. That said, I don't think I don't think we're going to put them to bed. I do not think we're going to see another 4-0, 5-0, 7-0, 5-1, whatever they were. 7-0 last season, obviously who nobody can forget. I honestly don't think it's going to be like that again, as much as I would love it to be like that. And come Sunday, if that does happen, I'll be celebrating long into the night. I just honestly don't see that happening. Yes, they're going through a slump, but it's the type of game, form goes out the window. And I I, I do think Liverpool will win. Um, I'm, I'm going to go through my score prediction and my lineup prediction very soon. I do think Liverpool will win. Just because of everything, I think we're just going to have too much. Um, United are suffering with a lot of injuries as well. I mean, we've got a few injuries our, ourselves. A lot of teams with lots of injuries piling up. It's that time of year. It's the busy time of time of year. Um, busy schedule. Lots of games being played. Klopp did men mention that in his press conference. Um, it's the same for every team. Every team has got a busy schedule this time of year. So, without further ado, let's get into my score prediction. And um, my lineup prediction. So, my lineup, uh, my score prediction. No, I, like I said, I was joking. I don't think it's going to be like that. I think it's going to be more like that. I think it's going to be a much closer game. I just, it could be a 2 0. It could be a 1 1. It could be 0 0. Um, I, I, Liverpool just have a fight in spirit at the moment. They're not ready for, until the final whistle goes. They just don't give up. I mean, obviously, the Union game on Thursday, that was last night, actually. That was a um, completely different type of performance. It was a game that we didn't need anything from. But other than that, Liverpool have been the mentality monsters that Klopp wants them to be. This season, pulling themselves by the scruff of the neck and getting results out of games where they should be dead and buried. Um, so, yeah, it's. I think we, we will have too much for United. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be 3-1. Seems to be a very common scoreline for me. I'd always seem to go 3-1. I don't know why. Um, yeah, so that's my score prediction. Um, I'm also going to go for a lineup prediction, which is this. Obviously, Allison in goal, best keeper in the world for me, without a doubt. Um, left back, Simicass, still Robertson, no sign of return yet. January, I think, is the scheduled return for Robertson approximately um, so Simicass he's our most natural person to play in that role um, I'd be extremely surprised if he goes puts Gomez in there I don't know why I'd be I'd be surprised there's no need to do it I think Simicass is just much better on the left and Gomez is better on the right um, centre backs Van Dijk back in the form of his, of his life you know one of the first names on the team sheet without a doubt especially for the big games Van Dijk, alongside him, I've gone with Ibrahim Akanate. Um, again, we we kind of need our centre backs to step up. Like Van Dijk has stepped up this season. I'm absolutely so impressed with Van Dijk's form; it's incredible. But um, the other centre backs just seem to be lacking a little bit. Uh, Matic was having a great season until that season-ending injury um, a week or so ago, which is sad for him. Um, then Trent Alexander-Arnold at right back, and actually, I'm just after having a thought here. This could be a game because I was really struggling with the midfield because with McAllister being out, I think Endo's played the last two games, started the last two games, and hasn't been fantastic. Like he played against Union was just nowhere near anything. I, I, I don't even know what he was doing on the pitch, to be honest with you. He only played half a game in the, the Premier League game against Crystal Palace because he was that bad. He was pulled at half time. Um, so I've actually just had a thought. Alexander Arnold could probably play the base of midfield, the number six, and then that would free you up to have Gravenberg and Sabosley and Paul Jones out, 
that's possibly something that happens with Gomez at right back. I'm just after thinking about that. I didn't, but I don't think that's how it'll go. I think what I've gone will be because I don't think Klopp's ready to put Trent in at midfield just yet. The trans the transition is just very slow, and I just don't think he'll do that yet. So then in midfield, I've gone with Saboslai, Gravenberg, and Jones. Um, I've gone Saboslai at the in the number six, but that'll chop and change throughout the game. They'll be changing between the three of them, I reckon. Um, yeah, with the injury to McAllister, I don't think Endo will be on the pitch. I, I, I just didn't see any other way, um, other than maybe Elliot get, gets in there ahead of Jones, maybe. But again, he's played a bit of football recently. Might just need a bit of a rest. And then up top, um, I've gone with Diaz on the left. Of course, Jota not there. Um, Gakpo played in the week. I just don't, I just don't see Gakpo starting. Um, Nunes through the middle, for the same reason. Gakpo started the midweek game and played most of it. Played most of last night. And then Salah on the right. You know, another name that's just nailed on the team sheet. So um, that's my lineup prediction. Um, yeah, it's. I think that's that's the team that gets the job done against United especially at Anfield. Home crowd will be up for it. But then again, so will the United fans. And they'll they'll want to put down a marker. You know, they could um, potentially use this as a, a platform to build upon in the busy schedule. Getting a good result over Liverpool could be massive for their season. You know, it could spur them on to find a bit of form in the new year, um, which we don't want to allow to happen. We really don't want that. We're happy to keep them where they are. So... Liverpool, I, I think Liverpool just have too much. United are in a bit of a crisis, but they're also in a bit of an identity crisis. Nobody seems to know what they're really playing. And perform, perform, poor performances against Bayern Munich and Bournemouth last time out in the league have just sort of compounded all of that. So that's my score prediction. That's my lineup prediction, guys. Thanks, everybody who tuned in. Hit, give the video a like, please, um, if you enjoyed it. And also consider subscribing. Um, following if you're on Facebook or on YouTube that's where our channels are and um, this game kicks off at half past four on Sunday I'll be here with a live stream on our channel it's the Slack and Armchair supporters I'll be joined by Big D possibly for the second half he's um, working that day but he'll be getting in as quick as possible and um, yeah I look forward to seeing you in the stream and um, yeah come and have a hang out with us watch the match and you know have a chat um, also check out I'm going to make a reel now after this video um, me and Big D after the Union game yesterday, we had um, a very in interesting conversation about like combined Liverpool United 11s, and we actually went um, like Premier League era, and then all time era, and we were having a discussion. So I'm going to make a little reel with what we came up with as the all time Premier League. I think it's Premier League 11. Yeah, but we also came to the conclusion that there's no real right answers. Like you could probably pick five teams full teams that would actually beat each other on any given day. So it's that tough. But I'm going to make a little video. I'm going to show you our lineup and yeah, get in the comments. Let us know what you think. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you live on Sunday just before kickoff, about 20 past four. See you then. Peace and love. Love and peace.